Hey everybody, today I am so nervous but so excited. I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Nair Hair Remover Face Cream Moisturizing. It is the Thorough Hair Removal Long Lasting Visible... Visible? <laughs> Long Lasting Visible Smoothness Easy Fast Pain Free... We'll see. <laughs> and this has Sweet Almond Oil for Upper Lip, Chin, and Face. So this is the product right here. Let's see what it says on the back. It says, Nair Face Cream removes hair below the skin surface while moisturizing and exfoliating above. In just minutes, achieve beautiful skin that lasts. For all hair types, smooth, radiant skin, thorough hair removal. So, I'm nervous. <laughs> I have extremely sensitive skin, so normally I just use my little shaver thing right here. I just go all over my cheeks and stuff. I hate peach fuzz. It drives me nuts. I can see it like applying liquid makeup and I just I don't like the way it leaves like a texture on my skin. So the smoother the better. I'm never like a hundred percent smooth. I always, you know, get lazy and don't do the best I should. <laughs> but I definitely like to use this around my brows, um, like you know, upper lip, chin, and everything like that. Like, I can't stress it enough that I have extremely sensitive skin. And when I tried the nair on my legs a while ago, I mean it was a year, about a year or so ago. My legs broke out in like these red itchy hives, so I'm hoping that since this one is for the face, it's a lot more sensitive. I have really high hopes for this, but I'm so scared to put it on my face. I'm going to use these Neutrogena Oil-Free Cleansing Wipes Pink Grapefruit Acne Prone Skin. I actually really do like these guys. They kind of burn your skin a little bit, so I actually like to run it under water and squeeze it out, and then it's like perfect. I want to do like the power of makeup thing too right now. Let's see. So I'm going to take off my makeup. See the difference lashes make? Damn. Now if you don't like a scent, these are like, these are strong. I will warn you about that. Giving Snapchat a little sneak peek. <laughs> everything, like my Instagram, Snapchat, and everything is listed down below. Now that we're done playing, House of Glass Lashes. House of Lashes Lash Glue. Good lord. House of Lashes Lash Glue does not play around. <sighs> Shit's intense. Okay, I removed all of my makeup. I'm gonna go cleanse my face real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with a freshly cleaned face. I'm going to zoom you in. Oh, goodness. I don't know if you're going to actually be able to see all the little baby hairs on my face. I actually have some problem areas right now, but you know. But I don't know if you can actually tell, maybe. But I do have a lot of little peach fuzz and just some little baby hairs I really want to get rid of. And, you know, just hair in general on my face, so... I do want to apply this with a brush. I don't want to get this on my fingers. It just freaks me out for some reason. So let's do this. It's got a little bottle. It's only four bucks though, four or five dollars. So the back says to apply cream, remove all makeup, squeeze cream onto fingertips, spread a thick, even layer to cover hair. Do not rub in, wash your hands immediately after application. Leave cream on for five minutes, then check a small area for hair removal. Do not exceed 10 minutes. Now I have also read that if you push the product upwards, it kind of grabs onto the hair a little bit more instead of just, you know, forcing them down. So I'm actually going to apply this product going up just based on some reviews I have read. Oh, whew. That is a very distinct smell. The one time I did my legs, I was like, whew, damn, I will never use this again, but here I am. Now, I'm using a brush I don't really care to mess up. This is a Real Techniques uh, Expert Face Brush. I have a few of these, so I'm not really worried about it. So I'm just going to take, oh shit. That's what the product looks like. It's just a light baby pink. Oh my god, I'm so nervous, okay. And I'm just applying this upwards. baby hairs on my nose? We're gonna find out. So 
So I have all of it on. I did a pretty thick layer. Oh, I'm really nervous. It's starting to steam just a tiny little bit. Not like sting, but I can definitely like feel it like working, I guess, if that makes sense. I feel like Mrs. Doubtfire right now. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so I'm gonna go wash my hands for anything that may have gotten on them. And I'm going to go with a washcloth so we can wipe this off in about five to seven. I'm gonna leave it on for maybe seven minutes because you leave it on for ten. I really want it to work and I want to do it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on for seven and I will be right back. Okay, I am super nervous. Oh my goodness. It has been exactly seven minutes. <sighs> Moment of truth. <laughs> Don't mind my dirty ass here. <laughs> my bad. Gosh. I'm a little red. Okay, so I wiped everything off. It came off really easy, just like a regular cream and stuff. It is stinging just a little bit, but it does say to go rinse this off after you wipe it, so I'm gonna go wash my face again real quick. <laughs> okay, I just wiped, or I just rinsed my face off, and it is red. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I hope my skin does not react to this. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, look at the difference. And it's hot, like it's, my face is warm, so I'm having a cool rag here, just to, oh, shit, it's hot. But I will say, my skin is like baby but smooth right now. It does burn a little bit. I'm just hoping I don't have like a breakout or a reaction to this because right now my face is extremely red. I might do a check-in in like 30 minutes to see if it has gone down, but right now my skin is on fire. <laughs> like it's, and it's really tight, but it's so smooth and I do not see one hair on my face. But I will say my skin is really soft. I see a few hairs left over, but you know, nothing crazy. So, I mean, it did a really good job at taking everything off. Um, I am having a bit of a reaction to it, as you can tell. I'll be back in about 30 minutes to check in and see how it's doing. Hopefully better than this. <laughs> Alright guys, it has been about 30 or so minutes, I want to say. My skin is still very warm. I've been keeping a cold rag on it. And I have to say, it doesn't burn anymore, but it is definitely warm. And I can definitely feel my skin is like, what the hell did you just do to me? And as you can tell, it's still really, really red. I do feel really dry right now. So I'm going to wait till my skin cools down and I'm going to put a moisturizer on top of it, but you can tell a huge difference of how red my face is right now. I feel like a tomato. I feel like that Snapchat filter, you know? <laughs> I will say it does do a really great job of removing the hair. I mean, my skin feels so soft. It's just irritated. I don't know right now if I would do this again because it did burn quite a bit on my skin. I love that it took off every little piece of hair on my face, but I don't know if my skin just reacts to it very well. Obviously the redness has gone down quite a bit on my forehead and it's going away on my cheeks a little bit. But you can still tell, I mean look at the difference between my neck and my face, it is still really irritated. So I'm hoping in like a few hours or maybe tomorrow morning it'll be better. I don't know. Oh, look at the difference. <laughs> I'm just hoping it goes down a little bit more. I might do like another little update or a follow-up to this in the description box, but right now I don't think I would do it again because my skin is super tight, it's irritated, it kind of hurts. So I think this is a no-go for like extremely sensitive skin like mine. It just, it's a little too harsh. I might try another product or something, but Nair is just, my skin just does not like Nair for some reason. So pros is that it did I mean, it took off all of my hair and it made my skin super, super soft and it only took maybe like the seven minutes and I mean, it went on easy, it was, it came off easy and I mean, cons, obviously just my skin just did not like it and it just irritated my skin. It burns, it stinks, <laughs> so I don't know. If my skin looks a lot better in the morning and it has like no redness and it doesn't hurt or feel 
really tight and dry, then yeah, I might do it again. So I will leave an update in the description box down below, but as of right now, I'm not feeling it too much. I love that it took off all the hair again, but it just, it's not the right one for my skin. So I'm going to end this video here. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful or if you did enjoy it. And please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!